So in this video, we are going to find all the values of x where the tangent line to the graph of f of x equals 2x cubed minus 3x squared minus 12x plus 6 are horizontal. So if our tangent is horizontal, that means, you know, maybe our graph looks something like this. If our tangent is horizontal, that means our slope is 0. So typically our tangent can be horizontal where we have a low or a high and then sometimes we also see um, our tangents horizontal when our graph just kind of levels out. So we see it there, we see it here, and we see it here. So in order to find these places, the first thing we're going to do is actually find our slope equation. So we're finding our derivative. So if I take the derivative 2x cubed minus 3x squared minus 12x plus 6, 6 I'm going to have 6x squared minus 6x minus 12 plus 0. So I just went term by term to find the derivative. So what I want to know is where is that equal to 0. So I have 6x squared minus 6x minus 12 equals 0. So here, this is a quadratic equation, and the different ways that we typically solve quadratic equations are factoring or the quadratic formula. So factoring is always easiest if you can do that. So I'm going to just do this by factoring. And the, the one thing that sort of makes this a little bit challenging to factor is see how the numbers are so big? But I'm also noticing that each term has a factor of 6. So since I have an equation, I can just divide everything by 6. And I have x squared minus x minus 2 equals 0. Factor. Let's see, x, x. Since this is a negative, I have to have a negative and a positive. And factors of 2 are 2 and 1. So let's see. Let's try this. This gives us x squared plus x minus 2x, that gives us the right middle term, minus 2. We're good. So I have x equals 2 and x equals negative 1. So these are the two places, the two values of x, where the slope, the tangent line, is horizontal. So let's just verify this by graphing this thing on our calculator. So I'm going to put my function that I was originally given in for my y1. So I have 2x cubed minus 3x squared minus 12x plus 6. And let's see. Um, let's start out by using one of our window presets by going zoom. And let's do, um, let's do zoom decimal again. Okay, now notice I can see where my curve is here, but I can't see the highs and the lows because they're off the screen. One's way up here and one's way down low. So all I have to do is go in and change my y min and my max. So let's say, let's try going from negative 20 to 20 and see if that gives us a better graph here. And I just guessed those numbers. Okay, so we're looking for where the tangent is horizontal, and it looks like at negative 1, we have a high right there, and at 2, we have a low, just like we expected. I could also find these using my calculator by going second trace to access the calc menu, and then choose min or max. But typically, if um, you're asked something like this on a quiz or an exam, you um, are going to have to show um, your work algebraically. So you wouldn't, this is a good check, but this isn't a, a good method in, in general. So that's it for this video.